Pack your bag and join us as we spend a weekend in Boston, Massachusetts. We'll show you the best breweries. We'll show you some cool city landmarks, interesting museums to check out, and some really incredible food too. Be sure to check out the description of the video for all the places we saw so you can find them too. So we're here at Trillium Brewery. Yeah, this place looks really super cool. So we're gonna have some beer and some food and check this place out. The beer is awesome. So you guys come with us. Yeah, come along. All right, we're in Trillium in Boston, Mass. At the Fa. And we're gonna have these four beers right here. They're all super hoppy. You wanna try one first? Sure. All right. They all look similar in color. Well, they're all super hazy. These guys don't screw around. All right, try that one. So this is a Pal L. Actually, it's really good. Yeah. It's juicy for a pale ale. You see what I mean? They're not always that juicy. Alright, so the next one is Double Dry Hop Summer, which is, um, it has Simcoe Ops, and I think it's, what, a 7 point something? 7.2. 7.2. I do think it's funny though that they're all like hazy and they're all about the same color. Oh, it's juicy, 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 juicy. But you notice if you mix them up, you probably can even tell by the color. This is really good. All right, next up is Speed what? Speed, speed metal. metal. Yeah, and it's an eight percenter and it has Amarillo? Amarillo and Citra. Oh, so interesting. Yeah. No sweat sock, but still juicy. All right, I, almost, I almost like it better than the second one. Really? Let's see. But they're all good so far. They just make really good beer. This one's really good. But this they, one is really they good. I need to tell you, they just make really good beer. Though. Well, yeah, Trillium makes really good beer. I know, so it's hard to choose. Alright, the last one scaled up and this has three hops in it. Is it uh, Galaxy, Nelson, and Mosaic? Nelson, Salvin, and Mosaic. I'm not sure what the last one is. I don't know, but it's like what, 8%? It's in the 8, yes. yeah. So. Oh, and like any surprise, it's really, really, really good. And it's a little um, musty at the end. I'm just gonna drink it all. Sorry, Lori, you can't have any. Can I take the other three? All mine. No, don't do that. All right, I'll share. And it's food time here, Trillium, and I got the seafood chowder, and Lori has a burger. With fries. With fries. So you did the seafood, I did the more traditional option. Yeah, so here's the Trillium. Awesome beer. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, always good stuff. This place is just epically super freaking cool, right in the middle of Boston. Why is there a duck behind us? You should read the sign. This is Air Land, Air Sea Land. Air Sea Land? I like it, it's super cool. Mythology, I don't know. <laughs> wow, it looks really cool. Not really sure. It's cool. We found the Boston Tea Party boat. We did. Yeah, check this thing out over here. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it's a museum and I guess you could tour the ship. You can tour the ship. Um, let's see if we can fly by the ship, hold on. We couldn't fly the drone because it's a no-fly zone, but the ground shots are still pretty cool. The museum is open Thursdays to Mondays, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The museum experience itself looks pretty cool. After all, it began the American Revolution as we separated from Britain once and for all. Well, sorta. The museum
museum is located right across from the Smith Family Waterfront, right in Seaport. It's actually a very pretty area of Boston. Definitely worth just wandering through it, if nothing else. Seaport also offers a spectacular view of the cityscape, one that in itself is worth the trip. So check it out. We're going into Smith and Wolski. This place is known for their double chocolate, well, multi-layer chocolate cake. And that's what we're gonna get. We're at Smith and Walensky's and we're doing wine and cake. So the wine first, cheers. Cheers. Mmm, Bellagosa. That's good. Yeah. Mwah. I didn't realize when we ordered a piece of cake, we ordered the entire cake. But it looks like the entire cake is here. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like massive. It is huge. It is. How many layers is it? One, two, three, four, five layers. And I think it's probably 10 pounds a person. Maybe. I guess we'll do our best. We'll do our best. Oh no, there will be nothing left when we leave here. I promise you this plate will be cleared. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have at it. Smith & Walensky's is just a stone's throw from where we were just standing at the Boston Tea Party Museum. So definitely stop in and grab a piece of gigantic cake and then walk it off wandering around. That's not a good sign. When, when, the, cake, when the cake passes out, it's, it's what we're yep. supposed to stop. It's like Jenga. Game over. <laughs> Alright, here we'll... we'll yeah, yeah, it's one. over. Okay, yeah. we'll let it fall over. Yeah, we're, we're so, I think we should stop and make it fall over. Alright, we'll stop. Make it fall over. We're gonna bring the rest to go. Oh, we'll drink the wine. Yeah, we can just wait. Alright, we'll just drink our wine. So the chocolate cake story to be continued maybe? Or maybe not, but it's really good. I feel so funny because you said you had more than fell over. Yeah, you had to film it when the cake passed out, but it was pretty funny. The cake fell over. All right, that's a wrap. What are we doing next? I don't know. We're doing something. Irish bar? Maybe. I don't know. Stick around and see what happens next. We're wandering the streets of Boston by land and sea. <laughs> Duck style. It should be an adventure. Yeah, we're gonna do it. This is one of the best ways to get a taste of the city of Boston. You can hop a duck from three different locations. We chose Prudential Center but there's actually the Museum of Science and the New England Aquarium as well. We boarded the duck boat. We're in the back row. It's like it's super cool. Yeah, we're in the back of the duck. This is the duck cam. Welcome to Boston Duck Tours. Here we go, bro. Here we go. Quack, quack. 1886, this firehouse is built. One of the oldest, one of the busiest, okay? The average about three to 4,000 calls annually. A lot of cats going the trees around here. <laughs> you may have noticed our tour guide was awesome. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Tour of the streets of Boston. This Mary Dyer right there on the left. This sad Mary Dyer. She was a Quaker and a Puritan life. It was 1897. Boston ran its first. There were 15 runners. This here to your left is a memorial to though to that day that we have to have an anniversary every year, unfortunately. We're gonna get a chance to enter my river, the Charles River, and look, double bridge porn. The Leonard P. Zeckham Bridge can be seen along with a really cool drawbridge. It's amazing how versatile these vehicles are. They can cruise along the streets and then float in the river. It's pretty super cool. And the next best thing to bridge porn is viaduct porn. Check out the Leech Bear Viaduct. The neighborhood goes away, I'll tell you why. Because of the city government. Because sailing to teach them. Bridge porn, duck style. One of the kids who learned how to skill, his name was Leonard P. Moore. You remember him, Spock from Star Trek? The Longfellow Bridge was originally known as the Cambridge Bridge, 
the Steel Rib Arch Bridge spans the Charles River to connect Boston's Beacon Hill neighborhood with Kendall Square. It was really cool to see the cityscape from the water. It started off kind of cloudy, but the weather cleared up nicely for us as the day pushed on. He was quite a guy. He cast about 80% of the trade bells here in Boston. Silversmith, Coppersmith, uh, Founding Father. According to the website, there are 28 ducks in total in the Boston fleet. We were aboard Waterfront Wanda, and Bobby Orr was our tour guide. About to come back out of the river. You know, they were well, doing surgeries. Uh, yeah, they were coming out of the river. Hello, the richest lady in Boston rides that duck every day. So fortunate. So, yeah, check out the Ether Dome. The Ether Bunny goes to the Ether Dome and they eat the time. you might say he would have been where everybody I knows his name. He had the chairs. It was the last week in you know, 19 something 93 the, was the last episode. Second longest running sitcom behind Seinfeld. The campers all around here flaky, averaging flaky campers. And he's got a heck of a lot to look at. That's why we Super don't turn to cool. the driver. We just don't want to have him distracted. Okay? So cool man. And these here you guys are in title time. You know that right? We win a lot of stuff here. Here we go, bro. Here we go. Quack, quack. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Quackers. Behind us is John Singleton Copley. I think I got his name right. Great American painter. Yeah. From one creator to another. Cheers, brother. You think they know our name? Probably. They will say Covection. Everybody knows our name. It's Covection. We'll see if they know. They say Covection. We're going in the cheers right now. Covection, Covection. In the cheers. We're going in. We're going in the cheers. It used to be the Bowl and Finch, by the way. So we're at cheers. Toast to cheers. 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 This is awesome. This is the bar. It looks a little bit familiar. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Studies show that the uh, old sons of Spain just don't have our sexual prowess. Clippy, nobody has your sexual prowess. I'm in Fraser's seat. See the studio lights. Being we were in Cheers and they had a pretty good pub menu, we had to get some seafood. We're starting with chowder. And the chowder has arrived. Yeah, there's the chowder. Right by Fraser's seat. Would you like another diet? I'm gonna fight over it. I'm gonna fight over the chowder. <laughs> So this is my we <laughs> check. I have a traditional. Check is a traditional O-ring. O-ring. I have the tentacle one. There's memorabilia all around the bar and it's all really super cool. So take time to check it all out. Mm -hmm. and usually I leave the tentacles for Chuck. We're so good. You don't need a drone to get shots nine feet above the floor. There are other ways. What a cool place. Studio lights. That's so cool. It's really, 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 really cool. So after walking through the park in the sun, grab a beer at Cheers. It's a really cool park. And if you're in Boston on a beautiful day, it seems like a really cool place to check out. Just kind of like people watch. 
swan boat watch. Maybe look up in helicopter watch. Pretty flowers. Yeah, it's nice. In 1877, Robert Paget and others introduced a new kind of boat into the waters of the lagoon in Boston. You can still ride a swan boat today. Well, we found George Washington. Here he is. And all his stately statuiness. The sculpture was commissioned in 1859, modeled in 1864, and cast and dedicated in 1869. His sword has been stolen and broken so many times it's been replaced with fiberglass. This part of the garden was a really nice place to get some B-roll. Get it? It's like a really, really cool carousel behind us. I don't know. I'm sure it's famous. I'm sure I'll have to do some research on it. Why are you just smiling? You're speechless. <laughs> She wanted me to ride on the chicken. You should ride on the chicken. I might film the chicken, but I'm not riding on the chicken. Not today. Sorry. No, no chicken. But we're, we'll have to check into it. I'm sure there's... The chicken into it. There's, there's a story about ah. it. There's a story. Yeah, there's a story. So we learned the carousel was built by the Allen Herschel Company of North Tonawanda, New York in 1947. It's pretty cool. Boston Common, founded 1634. World's first subway. The Omnibus and the Big Dig. All that happened here in Boston. Boston Commons, pretty cool. We're going to wander around a little bit. We had a beautiful day to explore Boston Common. It was just really cool to see all the statues, memorials, and monuments and stuff. I got a kick out of this landmine. I'm glad it didn't go kaboom. We plan on spending at least a couple of hours wandering around the Boston Common and the gardens too. With all the interesting memorabilia and the beautiful buildings, it's a visual treat to walk around the garden in Boston. If you find the Brewer Fountain, you're only a stone's throw away from a couple more really cool things to check out. So let's go see them now. Oh, this is a church right here. Behind Lori, or in front of Lori, is the Park Street Congressional Church. And right next to it, is a really cool cemetery or graveyard. This is the Cranberry Burial Ground Cemetery. And um, all reviewers here. There are a few other people here too. One person of notoriety here is Sam Adams. Sam Adams. You think of beer, you might think of him. Maybe a little bit. It's kind of funny that some may know him more for beer than being a founding father. By land or by sea from the town tonight, hang a lantern aloft from the Bell Tree Arch of the North. Beantown Pub right across the street brags that you can have a cold Sam Adams while looking at a cold Sam Adams. And it's true because look, there he is. So then Lori really wanted to check out the cemetery a lot more, so we wandered around a bit and it's actually really pretty. Nobody really knows how many people are buried at the Granary Burial Ground. The Franklin Monument certainly is prominent though. Interestingly enough, the monument is for his parents and not Benjamin himself. Put your, no, no. Here, put your, put your John Hancock on Johnny. No, that'd be graffiti. We can't do that. Can't do that. Oh, can't do that. That would be bad. We're in the theater district of Boston, which is in the middle of Chinatown. Have a look around. And we found the opera house. Found a few things. Yeah. So this is where you're gonna find... This is where you're gonna find Broadway-like shows. They, they say this is like the testing grounds for all that is Broadway. So you have to go down this aisle way right behind me. This little way right here to get the mare. This place is so worth it. And this is the way right here. It's the moment of truth. <laughs> no pressure. I'm nervous. I'm not. It is a light one, I can tell. It's nice. Yeah. It's good. It's light, but it's good. Good. All right, we're in. Oh, you have to hear us. Doesn't matter. Cheers. Cheers. 
Everything about Moray is just spectacular. Up above Loria's is the yep. This really cool brick building. This almost looks like New York over here. The bread and the oil and the olives were just fantastic. So lobster bisque and red vine, we have arrived. And the lobster bisque actually looks really good. I might take it for myself. No, I don't think so. <laughs> soul. Soul. I see there's um, there's some kind of soul sauce. Yeah, the soul sauce. <laughs> the soul sauce. I'm not even sure what it is. I'll put it on the side, maybe. I'm not sure what the sauce is. Really, really good. Good. Mm -hmm. You know there are Brussels sprouts too. Yes, I get those. The Brussels sprouts. So you have to get some. Both Lori's fish and the tiramisu were prepared right at the table. It was awesome. Oh my god, this looks fattening. <laughs> we walked like we walked like ten thousand steps. It might not have been enough. Maybe like fifty thousand. Imagine how the big one. Yes. Oh my gosh. And then Chuck, you said that tiramisu for four. That would, be that would have been insane. Well, we'd be the size of four when we left. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's so awesome. And yeah, the grated chocolate is just the perfect touch. Dessert's the best part anyway. All right. Very nice. Enjoy. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Want me to? Yes, you first. I want the verdict. Yeah. I'm going to take the whole thing for myself. <laughs> well, you'll be twice the woman you ever were if you eat all that. We should both have one. I don't know. That's that's it's that's very, a lot. No, but it's very good. Though. I'll try it. Alright, there we go. Put my sunglasses on. I'm in disguise. You know, why are you wearing this? There's coffee on this. Oh. Ooh, caffeine. Sorry. And yeah, it's yeah. okay. Probably not. Enough. It's proper. Not enough. I'll be all right. I'll live. I'll be very awake for a while. This is really, really good. Really. Friggin' awesome. I approve. Tiramisu is quite good, huh? Mm -hmm. Hey! <laughs> hey! I say, Buck and by the Buck Austin. Be sure to see the video description in the index to learn about all the places we checked out in one weekend. Thanks for watching, and remember to pack your bag and join us next time. We're gonna have some beers and some food, and this place looks really, really super cool. And we're happy to be in Boston. So Actually, <laughs> hit it, hit it. Do it, do it. There you go. How can we do it for real without the swearing? Yeah, this would be really cool. We wander in the streets of Boston, and by land, by land, yeah. It's messy but good. <laughs> messy but good. We're in Boston. For a second I thought you were paddling the thing by yourself. I thought you were paddling it by yourself. <laughs> be a lot of work. Well you are paddling it by yourself. That's a lot of work. <laughs> Have a good day. I see dead people. I think we should walk over to the right because everybody's looking at a stone down there. Can you see the bigness there? Yeah, right there. To make sure it's all in the shot. Can you see the bigness though? Yeah, is it all in the shot?
Very wet. It was very good. Camera time. Okay. You keep. Okay. Try again. And we have arrived. 